YouTube. Uh, we got to do a little update here on, on the car. Um, I get a lot of questions about what the uh, setup is on the on the Monte Carlo and what all is done to it. Um, really, not a whole lot of stuff. Uh, it is a Gen 3 5 3 out of like an 01 uh, Tahoe, I believe it was. You know, stock bottom ends, stock crank, stock rods, stock pistons, factory rings on it still, factory bearings. Um, I took the motor apart just to clean everything up and inspect it. Uh, still has all the original bearings and stuff in it. Uh, the, I did re-gap the rings on it. They are um, 28 top, 30 on the second ring, I believe. Um, this is an on 3 performance, 7665. Uh, I would like to update this. I'm thinking either going like uh, either a 7875 from VS or possibly going S475 or 480 on it. Um, money will be the big factor there. Uh, this has a Texas Speed and Performance cam in it, uh, the TSP224R. Um, truck throttle body truck intake it's got semen deca 80 pound injectors in it um stock rockers push rods uh, it's got pack 12 18 springs in it uh it's basically straight out of the uh sloppy mechanics builds um flip truck manifolds on it uh they are just welded here with v-bands on it Two and a quarter inch exhaust. And that's a Amazon 44 millimeter wastegate. Nothing fancy. Um, engine management is run by Holly HP EFI. Um, I would suggest if you are going to do a turbo build and you don't know where you're going to go with it down the road, step up to get the Dominator just for the additional inputs and outputs that you get with it um never had it on a dyno the car last year had gone 1140s at 125 the really really crappy 60 foot it was like in the 180s 190s um more or less because i couldn't get it to leave i tried foot braking it and just couldn't get it to stall high enough to get any boost out of it and uh, we're going to try to address that fact for 2019. Hence why the car is up on jack stands. Because there's the drive shaft. And I don't know if you can see, there's no transmission up in there. So the TH400 is out on the engine stand. And that is getting tore down. We're going to put a trans brake in it, do a couple other internal modifications to it, and uh, hopefully fix this lazy Sally off the line and get her to leave. Um, as far as the rear end, this has a TH400 uh, yeah, TH has a TH400 trans in it, but it's got a uh, 8.5 10 bolt out of a Grand National in it um 342 gears c-clip eliminators it's got a mini spool in it and uh depending upon the trans brake and how this thing leaves that might get upgraded too um i'll be that guy that's sitting there with literally his rear end all over the track last year i did some the lighting's kind of poor in here. I don't know if you can see it. We did upgrade the dash a little bit. Clean some stuff up in here. New tack. Gauges. Put a pillar pot in it. I really like the AEM air fuel gauge. That works pretty good. Uh, we got a TCI ratchet shifter in there. When you see smoke that is not from the tires, better have one of those car does run on EC5 um, 
It's got two AEM 380 pumps back here. That Y up into dash eight feed, dash six return. Um, running the uh, Nitto NT555R radials on it, and it didn't do too terribly bad this year, but it wasn't leaving on a whole lot of power either. So we will see how all that works out. Hopefully this coming season, as long as I can get the transmission back in. What do you think? Huh? I'm just concerned about rabbits running around. Anyhow, it's a little bit about the, the, uh, the Monte Carlo. Um, car works good, runs good. Uh, it's a lot of fun on the street. And uh, hopefully this year we can get some more updates, some track footage, some in-car footage, and, you know, have a blast with it. Which brings me to my next point. One of the other things I upgraded this year, because when I took this thing down to the track in June, um, it was the last weekend in June, and it was hot as heck out. I'm talking like, had to be like <clears throat> high 90s and high humidity. It was just, just miserable. Um, and this old girl here, the old 1500 was not liking all that. Um, I've hauled it down to the beach for cruising weekend and not ever had any issues with it, but uh, it just has got 180,000 miles on it now. I'm worried about the 4L60 trans in it on the trailer. So I wanted to upgrade in the truck department. But I don't want to pay 2500 HD new truck prices. So I got on Craigslist and I started shopping around. Come on, Drake. Let's go. Started shopping around Craigslist just seeing what was out there. And uh, even used vehicles were, I mean, uh, used trucks were bringing 15 grand, you know, for something with not high miles on it, but, you know, something that still had a little bit of life in it. But. Looking through that, I stumbled across this, and I watched it for about two weeks, and it didn't seem like anybody was biting on it, so I wasn't really in the position to spend the cash, so I kind of don't like having to go get loans or put stuff on credit, but um, I decided to go check it out and see if it was everything the guy said it was. Um, and here's the truck. This is a 1991 C3500. It is a dually. It's a one ton pickup truck. Clean as can be. Paint is nice satin black on it. It's a 4L80 454 truck. I mean, it's just. I couldn't ask for anything cleaner in this year of truck does kind of have higher miles on it. Now, I did put tack and some gauges in it. Um, 200,000 miles on the truck. But the guy said this thing's rust-free. And he wasn't lying. I couldn't believe it when I got there. To look at the truck. I mean, it's clean. It's throttle body injected still. Has mid-length headers on it. I did... Uh, I did do a tune-up, put some plugs and wires in it, and the uh, the radiator was leaking at one of the, uh, the plastic tanks, so put a new radiator in it. But all in all, I've been driving this thing around, and it's fun. Like, if it's a nice day out, like the day, it'd be the day I take it out and drive it. Uh, not great on gas, but, you know, smiles per mile. But yeah, all in all truck is in really good shape and it does have a hitch on it which is good but uh I'm happy with it and uh I did load the car up on the trailer and you know, took it around just for see how it hauled 
Um, it has a rebuilt 4L88 in it, and it's got a uh, good wrench long block in it. Um, apparently, the guy that had it before the fellow I bought it off of uh, was GM Tech, and he used it to call a, a, a 28 foot bumper pool camper. So, anyhow, long story short, that's what I've been up to, and uh, hopefully, this year you get to see the this thing in tow action and maybe a little bit of the Monte Carlo and some drag action some street action um, I got my buddy Tommy uh, a body Tom he's got a, a duster that he's working on um, getting a 408 stroker put in it he's getting a bunch of chassis work done to it cage and uh, we'll see if uh, the green machine how that runs down at the track um my other buddy craig he's got the uh the jimmy with the 6-0 in it uh the white one is called stone wagon but uh it's because it's, she's a a big old betty 4100 pounds and the truck's been in the mid nines so it's an exciting one to watch too and uh maybe we'll stop by his place one day and get a little rundown on that but anyhow i hope to uh be a little bit more active here on the channel get some content uploaded um like comment subscribe and uh share the channel around um i'll be doing a little bit of a uh a build series on the 400 the th 400 uh and a little walk through of what i'm doing on it it's not going to be like a how-to instructional video by any means but we will uh share with you what I'm going to do to the transmission, um, hopefully get it to hold some power and get it to work in the car. So anyhow, that uh, about wraps it up for this little update video, and uh, thanks for watching.